Hi, this is Murray from Second Time Tech, and today I have three microphones in front of me, and I'll be comparing them. And they are the newer NW7000, the Behringer C-2, and the Rode NTG2. And I put all the microphones in frame so that uh, you can see them, and I'll point to them whenever I change microphones so that you can see. The Behringer C-2 is what I'm talking on right now. And I just wanted to talk a bit about what I did to set it up. And what I did was I put a tone generator approximately where my mouth is right now. And on the mixer, I flattened the equalizers and I turned off compression and then I adjusted each one of the microphones with the 1000 Hertz or 1 kilohertz tone to be minus 18 dB. So they're all exactly the same level right now. And that's so that you'll be able to tell the amount of noise each microphone's doing you have to kind of remember that there is noise in the room too. So it's picking up room noise plus my voice and whatnot. So you kind of have to compare like one microphone to the other microphone. Not how much noise it's making because it's not doing it by itself. It's everything that's in this room that's making noise. So, like I say, you gotta kind of have to look at it that way. Now I'm talking on the Rode NTG2. So basically what I'm going to do at the audio editing end is only normalize the audio to minus 6 dB. That's it. You'll hear the creaking of my chair. You'll hear me make like a uh, sound because I do that every once in a while. I always take them out because it's a pain to listen to. And I won't be reducing the noise or anything like that on it either. Sometimes I get mixed up because silly me didn't put the microphones in the order that I wanted to have them like one, two, three. Mine is three, one, four. So I got to try to remember which ones because I'm trying to go with the least expensive microphone to the most expensive. I go from the newer NW7000, which is $30 in Canada, $20 in the States. The Behringer C-2, which is approximately $90 in Canada and it's 62 or $64 in the States, and that's for the pair. And then the Rode NTG2, and it is about $290 in Canada, and in the States, I can't find it alone. I can only find it with something else, and the least expensive way I saw it was either 304 or 300 and seven dollars but i know you can get it less than that because you can just buy it by itself and that's probably somewhere in the neighborhood of around 250 i think if i'm not mistaken because i know i've seen it somewhere but i just can't find it on amazon by itself weird so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to talk about the specifications on each of the microphones and i will switch to the microphone that I'm talking about now it's the NW7000 I'm just going to double check number three the NW7000 <laughs> anyway the specifications are and this is directly from the newer website some of them are weird it is a condenser microphone. 
it's unidirectional. Frequency response is 20 hertz to 18 kilohertz. The sensitivity is minus 34 dB. The output impedance is 150 question mark. The load impedance is question mark 1000 question mark. The self noise is 16 dBA. The max input SPL is 134 dB. The signal to noise ratio is 78 dB. And it requires 5 volts or 48 volts phantom power. Now I do have my mixer that gives 48 phantom power, which is connected, of course, otherwise you wouldn't hear me. And that's pretty much it. Now, just to go over some couple of things, all of them don't tell you on the frequency response if it's plus or minus 1 dB or 0.5 or 3 or whatever. So it really doesn't mean very much when they tell you what the frequency response is. And uh, like that, because you need a graph or something to see, and none of them have one. And the uh, output impedance, impedance is in ohms. So I'm assuming the output impedance is 150 ohms and the load impedance is 1000 ohms, I'm assuming, or there's some bad typographical error on their website. So that's basically what I just wanted to clarify. There, I switched to number one, <laughs> which is the Behringer C-2. I am not going to go on to the Behringer website because they just kind of wrote it down within a paragraph with a bunch of other things explaining a feature and it's got to look all over the place to try to find them so I went to Sweetwater which is a company that sells them and they have a list of the of the specifications on there so I'm just going to go through them so the microphone is a condenser microphone uh, they come in a stereo pair so you get two of them and the polar pattern is cardioid. The frequency response is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. The maximum SPL is 140 dB. Now there is a minus 10 dB pad on it, so that means it could be up to 150 dB when that's engaged. Output impedance is 75 ohms. The signal to noise ratio is 75 dB. The self noise is 19 dB. Oh yes, the pad is on a switch. And on the switch you can go from a flat frequency response to a high pass filter to the minus 10 dB pad. And it's just one of them because you're just switching from one thing to the next thing to the next. So you kind of have to pick which one you want. And it requires phantom power, 48 volts. And that's pretty much it for the Behringer C-2. Number four, the Rode NTG2. That's input four. It's not, I have four mics. I know you know that. Believe it or not, I do like joke around. Anyway, so this time I went to the Rode website, and this is what it says about it. It says that it has a super cardioid polar pattern. Frequency response is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. The output impedance is 250 ohms. The maximum SPL is 131 dB. The sensitivity is minus 36 dB. The equivalent noise level, which is self noise, is 18 dBA. 
the mic requires um, phantom power, 48 volts, or you can put a 1.5 volt AA battery inside there. And then that way there you can use it directly on your camera or a uh, voice recorder or field recorder that requires the mic to have its own power. So it has that feature also in it. And that's what we have on the specifications. Line three, NW7000. Now, what I thought I'd do is tell a real corny joke on each of the microphones so that you can hear me say exactly the same thing on each one. A grade four joke or limerick. There was a man from Peru who dreamt he was eating his shoe. He woke in the night with a terrible fright and found it was perfectly true. There was a man from Peru who dreamt he was eating his shoe. He woke in the night with a terrible fright and found it was perfectly true. There was a man from Peru who dreamt he was eating his shoe. He woke in the night with a terrible fright and found it was perfectly true. Well, since I started on the least expensive mic, the NW7000, I'll finish on the most expensive mic, which is the NTG2. I'll just leave it on there for now. Well, that's pretty much what I have for the day. Um, you should be able to tell what the noise level is um, compared to one another. Uh, don't take the amount of noise that you're hearing as what the noise of the mic is, because like I said, there is a lot of room noise here too. So please take that into consideration. So basically, I'm going to listen back to this and then decide which of the two mics I'm going to keep. And it's not necessarily going to be the best one. I just want to know if I'm going to be getting better audio than my NW7000. And as long as it's better, then that's good enough for me because of the price difference between the microphones. So that's all I have for today. If you like the video, thumbs up. If you don't like the video, thumbs down. If you like the content, then please subscribe. I want to wish everybody a wonderful day. Thank you very much for watching and listening. Bye.